curl you every time. I just that's that's right, Camille. That's right to stand up for your family. These internet trolls. All right, my gems, welcome back. So this is gonna be part two of Clarence's uh, reaction. I have something to say. I ain't doing no intro. I'm getting straight into it. That part right real quick. I'm sorry I have to do that. So the end of part two, you said Queen Queen DMing me made like DMing me made sense the way our relationship was going at the end, right? Um, there's a there's a, a particular like I don't remember everything because it was such a long time ago, but there was a particular moment where I could think about that is proof that like what you're making it seem like you know and I know that we were done, like we were done. We were arguing, we were doing that. You were doing your thing. You you feel me? You, we, like we had a. I think we came back from a break. You got know what I'm saying? Clarence, things. facial we expressions. Both shared this. that like we did while we were on the break. We both didn't like that. You know what I'm saying? So we broke like we was pretty much over. You feel me? And there was an incident that I could show you on Halloween. You walked in in my house and to get your boots or sneakers or whatever you left. You whatever you had stuff still here. You know what I'm saying? I had all your stuff packed in the closet and you walked in and I was shocked to even see you. We didn't even say a word to each other. You feel me? My mom came in. She 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 was there. She walked. You walked right in to get the stuff and walked right out. We didn't even say bye. You were going. Did she to speak to your party. mom? No. You were dressed in a costume or whatever, and you left. You feel me? That said a lot for our relationship to be like. Oh, that's it. Says a lot. It makes sense. Like, don't say that. You feel me? You know what it was. We weren't together and it wasn't even like that. You feel me? For you to walk in the house, I didn't even. For me to be shocked and let's not even say anything to each other, nigga, that says a lot. It speaks volumes. I'm not gonna lie. One thing I peeped about, you know what I'm saying, and this is my advice to my younger generation, you know what I'm saying, just stay on your bag, Chase. You know what I'm saying, chase the bag. You feel me? Well, one thing I noticed is like, you feel me? In the beginning of our relationship, and there were certain points in my relation in our relationship that like, like I really went through it. You feel me? Like I really went through it and I really tried hard to contact you. I remember like not and not to like because this is like I'm over this, but like I remember really trying to contact you and just can't get in touch, you feel me? And I and, and I noticed like the litter that I got, like not the litter, but like there was a difference between He's breakup, talking about you feel me? like and like why at the end it's like you're heartbroken and all of that. Like when you there's there are times that you clearly broke up with me and you said you don't want to be with me and you want to do this, and you want to go, all right, and you end up right back. <laughs> you feel me? So it's like, yeah. it's just a different... It's like bright for us, still. Your, your plane is her card, and I just don't really, I don't really uh, agree with it. You know what I'm saying? I think, I feel like our goals, with, we had two different goals at, the, at that time. You feel me? I feel like my goal was to be successful, and I feel like your goal was to be happily in love. You feel me? And that just wasn't the kind of time yeah. I was on. I did... But I feel like I did not, like not taking anything we had away, you feel me? But it just, like, that's just my, my like, I was trying to be successful, you feel me? And I, I, I expressed that Parents to you was many times. The like, I work okay. hard. You know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta start doing things. I gotta, I can't Ain't be wrong with that. crapped up in this, in this, in this basement with you. I can't be, like, just, just focus on the joints. I can't be, you feel me? Like, I was trying to really get my shit together out here. I got kicked out of school. I had to figure it out, you feel me? kind of made it seem like you didn't want to hold me back and you were saying all of that, but that was the main, that was one of the main problems that I had with you, you feel me? And that was, that was one of the things that I fell in love with about Queen is that she never, like, she never, like, even though she has the spotlight, don't, she's a mega superstar. You feel me? Even though she has the spot. You heard he said about his bait. She a mega superstar. Don't miss it. If you did, rewind it. Or whatever. She was never like, like she never wanted to hold me back. Like, you know, she wanted me to shine. She never said, oh, I got too many followers and, and, and I ain't going to record him. <laughs> I ain't going to video with him because I got, I'm too big. Like she never did any of that. You know what I'm saying? She never held me back. She always wanted me to get better. From the jump, you know what I'm saying? I didn't go through all the DMs, but she told me she like the one of the first things she said was, nigga, what car like what car what car do you like? 
And I said, I would eat. And she said, nigga, start your YouTube channel. You get that. Simple, like, it was that simple. Like, you feel me? Like, and I, I never got that. But you can get that vibe from Queen. Not only with Clarence, but what she did with Tina and Terrell, her sister and brother. Like, she put people onto YouTube and she pretty much let them, you know, kind of like use her name because she know that they're going to take off. Now, after she does that, now it's on you to continue that momentum and keep people coming back to your page because she did her part. Now it's on you to take it from here. She can't hold your hand and, hey, come on, you got to drop a video today. Hey, come on, you got to record. She can't do that. She let you use her name and her brand because she want to see you win. That's all I can get from it. Um, I need me a queen. I'm just saying. Me, like, yeah, she feel me. So, that, like, that, that just, like, that's one of the things that I, I fell in love with her about. You feel me? Queen, just, not, not a lot of women like her. And then you said there was someone, I think it was said that, that it was business. Yeah, that, like, I said it was business. And you're damn right I said it was business. <laughs> do you hear, do you see those DMs? No, I saw clear. It's business, it business, business to me. Time. You feel me? There's all kind of girls in my DM. I, I never even went into that. Like, nigga, Queen's not the only celebrity, celebrity that was in my DM. Not only female celebrity. Uh, another silent brag. Y'all heard it. You feel me? So, it's like, I'm not even, I wasn't even on that kind of time. I'm really just trying to work and get my clothes into the right people. Nigga, in my eyes, I'm like, nigga, she got a husband. I'm chilling off that. Nigga, I'm good off that. You feel me? I'm not even, I'm trying to. You know what I'm saying I'm trying to form relationships and you feel me like I it was just business for me it was genuinely just business at first my fault <laughs> like shit happens like I, damn she fell in love with me and I fell in love with her We're like what do you want people to do about that that's what happened <laughs> like you know what like, clearance reminds me of definitely my fiance just so business bad. I thought it was gonna be just business too you think I expected this I didn't expect this I didn't expect to fall in love with her I didn't I didn't expect her to fall in love with me I'm pretty sure she didn't either. That's All when right, you yeah, fall so in love when you I'm, don't I'm expect it. I'm going through this a little quick. Hopefully you guys are keeping up with me, you know what I'm saying? But um, what bothered me most, you know what I'm saying, is when you said, you said it's obvious that I was messing with Queen because she was loaded with money and clout. I feel like I've said it before, but again, Queen didn't have money when, when Because Chris her. took it. Nasty, you know nasty. Saying? Everything was taken away from her. Everything, everything was in the other person's account. Like she had no credit card. The credit cards were taken away from her. Like she didn't have money when she was with me. You feel me? And I'm pretty sure it hurt. Like he can vouch for that. You feel me? Like I feel like. Did he take her Jeep back or whatever kind of car she had? I'm gonna look it up. A man of like dignity. I'm a man of pride. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of pride. And for me, to mess with a girl because she has a lot of money or clout, just it just it doesn't sit right with me with, with the type of person that I am. Did being famous make her stand out in my DMs? Duh. Of course it did. Just like if I slide in one of your DMs, my shit is right there. You won't see that and you're gonna answer. For you to say that I messed with her for money and clout, it just like, it really, it really, that really pissed me off. You feel me, that right there, you know why? Because I didn't, I didn't mess with her for money and clout. You feel me, I messed with her because she's beautiful. I messed with her because she's strong. I, I messed with her because she's goofy. I messed with her because she makes me laugh. I messed with her because she showed me that there's a, there's a, there's, more to Clarence than I see in Clarence. That's a good quality queen. What else, what else I got in? She's selfless. She's daring. She, she's great in bed. She believed in me. Clarence, don't just slide that in there like we ain't here. She great in bed. Little speed bump and roll. You say that real quick and just cut to something else. I heard it. She invested in me. Not a lot of women that can say that. Doing, she invested in, in me. That's right. Got to invest in your man's dream, baby. 
She seen I had potential and she invested in me. She bought me a camera. I didn't ask her to do that. <laughs> I didn't ask her to do that. She just bought it. She seen I was vlogging off the phone and just bought me a camera. I had the big ass cannon trying to carry around the big ass cannon. Y'all remember that? That's why I fuck with her though. Not because of all of that nonsense that y'all say. The queen I know. I definitely don't look at her as a, as a check or as money or as an opportunity. That is the mother of my child. And I love her to death. I will die for her. I will die for her and on any given day. It's my heart. You feel me? And I and just like how I'm a nigga, even if me and Queen don't work out, well, I put that on everything I love. I will forever love Queen. She has a special place in my heart forever, well, forever. That's right, like Queen. Girl. With each other in a way that I just don't think would have happened with, with, with my ex. You feel me? And and she get me emotional because, like, people, like, people try to play. You feel me? That's how all this shit started. Like, a lot of, like, a lot of shit that I get into, you know what I'm saying, on the internet and shit. Like, I really don't like the internet. I really don't get into it with a lot of people on the internet. But, like, a lot of shit that I've been getting, that, I, that I've been into is mainly me defending my girl and my queen. You feel me? And I really don't give a fuck. You feel me? But, like, when you start saying shit that I'm, that like my, my girl, you feel me? And one day my son got to see you saying that I'm, I'm with, I, I got with his mom for money and clout. That's the mother of my kids. You tripping. That woman in the tripping. world to me. I'm picking her over you every time. I just. That's, that's right, Camaro. That's right. Tuh. Stand up for your family. That means internet trolls make that clear like and I'm, I'm not specifically talking to my ex i'm talking to everybody out there mo put some respect on my relationship put mo. some respect it on means it. a lot to me mo it really does oh, i like, screaming it from the rooftops and i'm not posting the best pictures with the cute outfits and all of that shit i'm not doing all that but that should mean the world to me mo those people up there mean the world to me mo that girl that kid mean the world to me mo oh don't cry clarence you feel me so i like a like I need y'all to put some re some respect on my relationship or and put some respect on my girl name. Oh, don't cry. And like my girl's not hasn't done no nigga nowhere near the things that you've put me through. And I had to face with you. And I and I love her for that. I love her for that. She respects me, mo. She loves on me. Should be feeling all awkward and shit. Like sometimes a nigga don't even know how to feel. But I love her. I love it. I love it here. You know what I'm saying? I just want to, I really want to address that. You feel me? I just, I hate that shit. Yeah, sometimes the reason why I don't say shit. Sometimes the reason why I say shit. Sometimes the reason why I don't say shit is because mainly is because I'm trying to protect my queen. And I'm thinking about my girl. I'm serious about mom. And this is my, what the world, like looking, the world looking at us on the outside and you feel me? Let me get closer real quick. I feel like the world. Shit about to get real, he had to bring us in. Come in world, cause I want y'all to hear this. I don't want you to miss it. Bring it in. The world right now I'm looking at this. my situation and this situation. And this is why I feel like, because it just happens so much with other YouTube couples and everything. But the world will probably look at this situation and be like, yo, Clarence is tripping. No, and I'm ain't. doing this no filter, no nothing. I don't give a, f I don't, like, I'm done. Like, no one's telling me how to act. No one's telling me what to say, none of that. You feel me? Leslie is, like, curvier. Or Leslie is, I like, I don't, it's, it's natural. Well, First of all, I just seen a snippet of uh, Leslie's video. I don't know if it's just me, baby, but them titties don't look natural. I'm just saying. Them titties look surgically made. Because I know real titties, because I got some. 
like whatever the world world may think. This is to you, Leslie. Even you may think you might be uh, like, cause you're sitting there, and it's like you're bothering me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, it's just it's your, bothering me. Your presence it's is like bothering me. It seem like as if you're better than the person I'm with. For some reason, that's the vibe. That's the vibe that I got. You feel me? And I feel like the world would say that I'm tripping or they'd rather be with Leslie because of the way she looks. And you, you, maybe you feel Give like I'm missing out. Or maybe Any maybe this is not for you. Again, I'm not trying to bash you or nothing, but this is just how I feel. I feel like I've been holding in this, holding shit in for years. You feel me? The world may look at me and be like, oh, queen. Like I, I, and look at Leslie and be like, Oh yeah, he really want to be with her. Listen, Queen is really a bad bitch. I don't you know, know what y'all look, looking at. And you're wrong. But baby, Queen is beautiful as hell. And you're wrong. You know what? You know what? You know what was you? You know what was wrong? You know what's one of my my biggest problems with you is you never was a you you never you never was the woman I needed. And that's where that's where Ooh. Queen got it. Drop the mic. That says a lot. You feel me? You never was the woman I needed. That's your feeling should be hurt, boo. Crush. And it's like it's more. It's more than looks. It's more than looks for me. Queen is a woman. You feel me? Like Queen. I've been saying that since Paul. Queen is a woman. My shorty, my shorty about to drop an album. 10.30, I'm ready. My shorty not worried about three exes ago or four exes ago. My exes had exes before me, and yet I'm, I'm the topic. Because you're the only one that can get them clout. Duh. 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 You can't get clout from a bum-ass nigga. And, and again, I know this is all starting because the book and all of that, but you could have simply just said... She you could have write simply dated it. Now it's like, oh, I've waited three years and I want to tell my story. I just, I, it, that didn't sit right with me. There was there was a, another thing I wanted to address and I, I, I quite didn't understand it myself. And I still don't understand it. Um, and I mean this in the most respectful way possible. Me and Queen... We're the only ones that are still together. And, and let me break that down to you. Let me explain what I, what I mean when I say that. Both, like both my ex and Queen's ex, both have been in multiple relationships after us. Well, after we don't know about Liz. Like many exes. But like I'm not talking about one. We know Chris not talking has. About two, I'm not talking about three. Like many exes. And I just don't understand why like our relationship gets questioned or our love for each other gets questioned we're still together like i don't get like for three years for about three Damn, years three we years? dealt with her ex just Chris is petty, just a damn troll click baby trolling you feel me for 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 personal gain and now you, I feel like you're doing the same thing because you have many exes and yet you go to me. Because she has something to gain off of your name. I feel like you could have simply made this video. And again, I do apologize for the whole health thing. Cool. All that you get all of that. You should, you should react to that. You should have say on that. But my relationship. No say Three at years all. later. Like y'all both got a chill. Like we're happy, and all I'm saying is like we've been together. We we stuck it out. We're still together. We're still friends to this day. We still talk every day. We still love each other every day. Y'all too. <laughs> they ain't got nothing to do. Come on, like y'all y'all been moved on. So make videos about your your current ex or your last boyfriend. It's not gonna or get them Your nowhere. last girlfriend. Like that. That's just one thing I don't understand. Like I like I could never. I've never, I've never sat down and did a video about my ex. I've never sat down and did anything, any What's content or revolved around my past relationship. They're ex for a reason. 
What I'm talking about you for? I left you in the past. That's for crazy. Reason. That's crazy. I just think I think niggas gotta chill. That's all. And I just, it's like it just does. It's it's mind boggling to me. There just there's this memory that I have of being with you, and it, it was it had to do with your dad. I seen I seen a conversation in your phone with your dad, and he was saying how I wasn't a real man, and that real man has job has a job. And that I'm not a real man, and social media is not a job, and that you shouldn't follow me, and you shouldn't try to do what I do. Mm. That's hurtful. Boy, was he wrong. <laughs> not he hit us with the Drake line. Boy, was he wrong. Took with me so much. That was just negative energy for him to feed off. And this is strictly all my all my young kings out there you feel me that shit hurt me you feel me and that right there that right there like it was one of the things that just it had nothing to do with her it was just my pride you feel me you talking about what say less and boy was he wrong listen Clarence pissed off you see how his mouth balled up I'm living I get what I want. I do what I want. I fly what I want. I eat what I want. I smoke what I want. I drink what I want. I wear what I want. Buy what I want. Spoil my 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 my, my family when I want. But I'm happy. And it's crazy, it's crazy that I, I told I, I said all of this was going to happen. And I just wonder how your dad feels now. Nigga, we made it. Because you're doing YouTube. Ooh, he's shady. Ooh, look at that little look in his eye. Claire is shady. <laughs> it's ironic. Mm. Ooh, like, he's well, shady. But I hope he's doing good. I hope I hope you I hope you do good. I hope you get whatever you want out of out of out of that or whatever you whatever you're looking for out of that. You know what I'm saying? I wish nothing but you know what I'm saying? This is my last time. I'm not bringing I'm not making this shit like a series or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I just felt like certain things are just, I'm tired of, I'm tired of people playing with my relationship name and I'm tired of people playing with my girl name. And that's all. So and that's some that's period. That's YouTube advice. Don't go that route. Do your own thing. You know what I'm saying? Get right, do your own thing, get in your own lane. You know what I'm saying? You definitely don't want to grow your channel to be my haters or my girlfriend's haters. <coughs> and people know you as Clarence X, so I think I think I think um you should definitely do your own stuff so they love you for you and not the T. I'm gonna holla at you. What's up? Well, y'all, I don't got nothing bad to say. I'm just saying he came in on a positive note. Set all the haters down and say, hey, listen, shut up. Not like that. You know, I want to say the other thing, but, you know, mind y'all business. We happy. Find y'all some happiness. Leslie, you three years too late, baby. Cut it. Take the advice he gave you. Move your channel in another direction. Because when the tea all gone, then what you got? nothing and on that note i'll see you guys in my next video <laughs> peace out